Hello everyone, and welcome to the next edition of Let's Play Deus Ex. I'm sorry that the videos have become sparser lately. It turns out that getting a real job for the summer is much more time consuming than being in school is. Who knew? Anyway, let's get started. Today we're going to tackle the Knights Templar Cathedral, and I think I'll tack on Morgan Everett's house, and we will end the video before we head to Vandenberg. So, let's get started. Just to refresh you about where we left off, our primary goals are currently access the Templar computer system so that Morgan Everett can complete work on a cure for the Grey Death, and the one we've had since we left New York is still make contact with the Illuminati in Paris, where the former Illuminati leader Morgan Everett is rumored to be in hiding. So let's get moving. You're going the right way. I primarily need you to establish an uplink from the MJ-12 network, but I also have uses for that gold. When you locate it, I will send someone to recover it. Prepare to receive a map of the cathedral. So we got a new goal and a new image. The new secondary goal is recover the gold from the Templar's cathedral, now occupied by MJ-12. And here is our map of the cathedral. We're going to come out down here on the street, so we'll pass by a metro station, go over a little bit of water, and then here at the cathedral itself we see the main entrance, two tower entrances, an old well, and the monk's quarters. Not a very detailed map, but that's okay. You know how we do. We're going to cover absolutely everything. This is actually one of my favorite levels. I really like the soundtrack. I like the atmosphere the old cathedral provides. I just think it's great. Hop up here, break this window. The dead body has a hundred credits, some soy food, and a candy bar. I don't need either of those things. But money's always nice. In the corner is another credit chit with 150 credits on it. Now let's see what's up here. On the next level, we find a flare on an end table, a bottle of wine, a key, the gatekeeper's key, and a lockpick inside the crate. Now, looking out there, we already see a commando. <coughs> With that key in hand, let's head back out to the streets and we'll crouch and quiet down. Anybody out there who's playing Diablo 3, I just got to Inferno mode last night and that shit is bananas, to put it lightly. Holy cow. Contrary to my usual stealthy style, I decided to play a Barbarian as my first character. I'm saving Demon Hunter for last because that's more my niche, if you, as you've probably already figured out the stealthier character type. But I do eventually intend to play all five, so I'm saving the Demon Hunter for last. Anyway, this guy's coming over here. Let's hope he turns around. Looks like we're good. I'll desperately try for the one-shot drop on him. I've noticed that it helps to get closer. So much so that you almost bump into him. If I attack when I first get into range, it almost never works. If I take that extra couple of steps, my success rate seems a lot higher. That may be the key, I don't know. Okay. With him down, we will continue moving forward. Well, we got a bot there. But we can't explode it yet. I'm gonna handle the snipers up there with a good old-fashioned cloak. Even though I installed it and upgraded it to Tech 4, I haven't found a whole lot of use for it yet. But now I do. Safely made it under the bridge and gotten away from the sniper. It looks like now I have no real choice except to use the lockpicks. Which is fine. 
I don't want to blow the door simply because that will bring everybody down on me. And there are enough guys on this map that that could be a real problem. So we'll creep up here onto the bridge. Ooh. Son of a Thought I could get him undetected. I guess not. Son of a! Who the hell? Oh. What? <laughs> okay. This isn't gonna work. I'm gonna need to use gas grenade. Company. Let's finish him off. Uh, and they just committed suicide by lamb. I don't want to let him do that either. Son of a... Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Request backup. Okay. Hopefully, <coughs> that took care of things. He's got a knife and a sniper rifle. None of which I need. This one has a knife and a lamb. This one also has a lamb. Not interested in the knife, but I'll hold on to those lambs. And when we get over here, we find another hundred credit shit. And a security terminal. I think I can shut down the bot here. Yes, very good. There's a lockpick and a multi-tool. Let's read this newspaper. United States Institutes Martial Law, APR New York. In a momentous speech held at 2.30 p.m. EST today, President Meade announced the declaration of martial law throughout the United States, citing a fundamental threat to the American way of life in the form of organized insidious terrorism. With major American cities already reeling under the impact of the Gray Death, looting and rioting have reached disastrous levels while terrorist attacks have grown increasingly ubiquitous, climaxing in the attack on UNATCO headquarters let in New York last week. <coughs> Local authorities have so far proven ineffectual in stemming the tide of violence, and even Washington, D.C. has been hit by an outbreak of the Gray Death. Highly placed sources have speculated that Meade himself may be infected. President Meade appointed Walton Simons, director of FEMA, to spearhead an interim council tasked with managing the government response. We will do everything, everything that is in our power to restore the peace and security of the average American, said Simons. In no way will this violate the civil liberties that have made this country great. Instead, we pledge to do everything in our power to safeguard those liberties against all who would see them torn apart. Yeah, what a douche. Don't worry, he gets his comeuppance. Although, he actually won't. Not from me. Alright. With the bot incapacitated, I'm gonna run back over here just to grab that lockpick. Get my count back up to 20. Waste not, as they say. Come on, JC. Let me see if 
there's anything in here I actually need. You can break the window. Tranquilizer darts, flare darts, sniper rifle, crossbow. No, that's not worth setting off the alarm. I haven't used the crossbow in ages. The time delay on the knockouts makes it an inferior option to your melee tools whenever they're available. Here's another public access terminal. Let's see if this one's changed. Local sites, Cathedral de Payens. Though overshadowed by several larger and more well-known cathedrals, the Cathedral de Payens in the 14th arrondissement remains a historical curiosity of interest to many scholars. Construction was begun in 1218 and completed before the end of the century, financed by the Templar Knights, an order of warrior monks, as part of a similar network of churches, cathedrals, and forts, or commanderies as they were called, throughout Britain, Europe, and the Holy Lands. <coughs> Some scholars believe that the order did not disappear in 1311 with its dissolution, however, and that the Templar Knights continued to operate more or less in secret. But whatever the truth, Payens fell into disrepair until finally purchased and renovated by a group of European investors in 1918 as a corporate retreat. While closed to the public, it still remains a comforting presence at the heart of the arrondissement. More bottles of wine. I guess the French really love wine, or at least we're supposed to think they do. Alright. I know there are a couple of guys over here. It's a commando and a sniper. Here at the... Oh, he's not a sniper. He's got a shotgun. That's much easier to deal with. Keep going past the metro station. The cathedral is to the south. Transmitting a photograph. Daedalus again. Ever helpful. Gives us a photograph. Cathedral, Paris. You can see a security bot already. I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't think they come onto the stairs. I'll be in trouble if they do. And I think they're going to turn around head their respective ways, which is exactly what I want them to do. Get the commando first. They're always a greater threat, and they're also harder to take down. With that done, we'll roll up on the other gentleman. Normally I'd pop into the metro station first, but we actually end up having to go there later, so... I'll actually take Daedalus' advice and go to the cathedral for now. He was carrying an assault shotgun. Obviously didn't help him much. And we shall continue. Ballistic armor. Potentially handy, but not worth it to me to burn the inventory space. And now we are coming up on the cathedral. See another commando over there, as well as some water underneath us. The old well should have been a clue that we can swim in. Let's, I think it's a very long swim. But we will, of course, cover that route. A very long swim. I don't think there's anything down here. Once I finish showing this to you, I'll probably reload and just go in the main way. MG-12 has the cathedral locked down. If you can't get through one of the doors, you will have to find another way. I'm not sure where the computer system is located. Yes, after that long swim, we see that there's nothing in there. Although that's obviously the easiest, stealthiest route. MG-12 has the cathedral locked down. If you can't get through one of the doors, you will have to find another way. I'm not sure where the computer system is located. As you can see, there's 
there are simply a lot of patrollers out here. We should be able to drop them one by one, like we usually do. <clears throat> I always feel better once the commando is down. Everyone else is so much easier to deal with. Hey, stop right there! had an assault shotgun, which I still don't want to carry. Alright. Let's explode that bot next. Check your six. It could be anywhere. Still in the area. I don't mind that I pulled that guy over here. <coughs> yeah. He's miles away by now. In fact, I think he might be easier to deal with in this position. I didn't accidentally kill anyone when I blew up the bot. <laughs> That's good. He had some prank darts. Those are always useful. Now let's blow up the other bot. Another one. Let's blow it up too. You have to love homing rockets, baby. Okay. I guess maybe I will have to approach to deal with that one. Do be careful running around. If I remember right, there's snipers on the roof of the cathedral as well. Snipers fighting. I'll do a check. Ha! A trellis. You could climb onto the roof and avoid the security. Never like depend upon reading. weapons and high tech when there is a simpler solution at hand. Got sniper ammo <coughs> inside that crate. Here comes the bot. There in that doorway. I think I got. I think I'm clear. <coughs> Locked on. Contact. Body reading on the. Stand down. About to say, I might as well. Please give your ID. About to say, might as well go ahead and drop it. Stand him. down. And I hold to that, but oh, they may be too close together now. Let's see. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Got the other. A recoil mod. Do I have any use for that? No. We'll get back to the outside in a second, but since we're here. The Doctrine of the Mighty by the Majestic Council of the Twelve. It is a commonly held precept that two are stronger than one, and that four are stronger than two, and that sixteen are by far stronger than four. With this, there can be no argument. If all of human history is but a single lesson, it is that the individual may be remembered, but the organization persists and thrives. A single artist, a single general, a single hero, or a single villain may all die. 
but it is impossible to kill a people, a nation, an idea, except when that idea has grown weak and is overpowered by one that is stronger. <coughs> This, then, is the true calling of those who would be mighty and join they who rule the world in majesty, to shun all that is empty fame and glory, to eliminate weak thoughts, weak hands, and weak ideas, to give up vain individuality and instead become part of something that is glorious and strong. This is the first secret, that by surrendering that part of you that is the least, you are elevated to the most. The first secret shall set you free, and those who know their duty will find in it the keys to immortality. The second secret can be explained to all, but truly understood only by those who have submitted to the first, body and soul. Adept 34501, Order of the Night Sky, third rank. Those who rule in majesty, the Twelve, have set you to watch over this place and record all that may happen so we may benefit from your observations as you may benefit from our wisdom. You are entrusted with a key to Sidon's Vault, 1942. You are entrusted with a key to the Fountain of Wisdom, 0022. You are entrusted with a number and a secret, 34501-08711. You will guard all these things with life and soul, and do your duty so that the fourth secret may find a place in your heart, 12. Interesting. On the table, we find a cathedral main door key, food and drinks, and another hundred credits. Now in this guy's bedroom in the monk's quarters, don't know how I pulled this assignment. I was told that this was a private security organization, but I should have known something was going on when they didn't ask about the damned discharge. Stupid. Now I'm walking the line at some gloomy-ass church in the middle of Paris. Nothing for company but a bunch of brain-dead zombies dressed in black and that crazy cook. Keeps rattling on about temples or Templars and how he used to cook for the rich or something. I don't know. Food isn't all that great. Can't even get a bottle of ketchup. And then this German mechog shows up yesterday. I know a lot of stone-cold people in the service, and this guy looks like he's got murder on his mind. He stands down there in the tech archive like a bot. I was on patrol in the cellar for ten hours, and he didn't move once. Inhuman. It's like he's waiting for something. I think I heard him crying once. So see, little things like that make me think these commandos might not be such bad guys. So it makes me happy I'm not slaughtering them. Another hundred credits, and another copy of the Doctrine of the Mighty. In another bedroom, we find binoculars, 250 credits, a candy bar, and a bottle of wine. And a tap dance, apparently. We'll climb up there later. Let's finish off the exterior first. Here's where, here's where we would have come up if we made the long swim. You might recognize it. Ooh, I hear lasers. Okay, good, we are done out here. All right, next, let's take Tracer's suggestion and see what we can find on the roof. <gasps> So we can break the glass and get into that room, but if you're thinking there's got to be a simpler way, ah, oh, there's the sniper. Simpler way into that room, you're right. We can hop up to another section of the roof here. Looks like I'm not coming back up here if I drop down there, so let's creep around here first. I've got a bogey, no ID. Oh boy. We do have rooftop snipers. You know, with all that done, I'm gonna make a more permanent save. Somebody made fun of me in the comments section on one of my thief videos for calling them real saves as opposed to fake saves, and I realize they're right. That is kind of a silly thing to say. But then again, I don't know what else you'd call it. My new satellite. One more try. 
managed all those little bits of navigation flawlessly on the first attempt. Alas. I see you. Twas not the even needed. Off. My new satellite link has both infrared and the XI spectrum. I see your heart beating. I see you are afraid. Now, even though I know his kill phrase, there's actually no need to kill Gunther. Alright. Definitely somebody. So we've got snipers patrolling back and forth up here, so let's be a little bit more careful before we sneak in and take them down. Guy in a coat, I'm checking it out. I thought I could get over here before he turned around. Yeah, false alarm, I guess. Before he attacked, anyway, and I was right. There's one. He had a knife and a sniper rifle. Let's get his buddy as soon as we have a good opportunity. And he just has sniper rifle. Someone's there. I can hear you. I knew I heard someone else. I think there are window snipers one level down in each of these towers, too, because I saw the one over there. I could have sworn. Let's head down and get him. That's him. Nice work. Guess I shouldn't have taken a swing at his sides. That was kind of stupid. Guy in a coat. I'm checking it out. Nothing here now. There we go. I knew he'd have to turn around. What in the world was that? He's down. Let's try to get an ID. Well, that some very strange behavior. <laughs> now he's not moving. Bogey! I think I need to get down there faster. I can get to him before he gets to the corner. Yeah, that little little dance he did in that corner was very strange, I have to say. But... Alright, we're that's the cathedral. Getting down into the cathedral proper. Before I do that, let's go get the last window sniper here in the opposite tower. His behavior seems a little more normal, facing out the window. <laughs> now I'm finally going to drop that knife. And here is this room. Didn't have to break any windows. Ah, a good library. Worth its weight in gold. So there's another main door key in here. The Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar by Richard Bajant, Volume 1, Defenders of the Faith. 
Upon the deliverance of Jerusalem, the Holy Lands remained in a precarious state surrounded on all sides by hostile Mohammedan neighbors. It was then that Hugues de Payens, the knight from Champagne, bound himself and eight fellow knights in a vow to forever protect the kingdom of Christendom. Accepted in 1118 by Baldwin II, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, they were given charitable lodgings in the city temple where they became the Pauvres Chevaliers du Temple, or the Poor Knights of the Temple. It was not until later, the Council of Troyes, that the Templar Knights adopted the austere monastic rule of St. Benedict, along with the white garments of the Cistercian, adding to them the characteristic red cross that symbolized their willingness to spill their own blood in the defense of the one true faith. The Templars quickly became a popular order renowned as lions at war and lambs at the hearth. They were soon exempted by the popes from all secular and episcopal authority save that of the popes themselves, and their lands exempted from all taxation. The Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar by Richard Bagent, Volume 2, Lions of God. And every sovereign of Europe made donations to the order, be it land, money, arms, or men. They triumphed in battle after battle, the first to attack and the last to retreat. Rough knights of the battlefield, as described by Jacques de Verti. If taken prisoner, they refused all efforts to secure their freedom, instead becoming martyrs to the cause of God. With every success, the order prospered even further. At their height, they were said to have owned over 9,000 estates throughout Britain, France, Italy, and the Holy Lands, including a network of castles and commanderies built to protect the frequent pilgrims to Jerusalem. In all but name, the Templars virtually ruled Jerusalem and, in what can only be termed hubris, recognized no temporal authority over their affairs save that of the Church. By 1250, the coffers of the order had grown so large that it was not uncommon for pilgrims to deposit their money with a temple in London or Paris, and then cash in their receipt upon arriving in Jerusalem, thus establishing the foundations for modern banking and checking accounts. The Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar by Richard Bagent, Volume 3, Fall of the Knights. While many charges can be disputed, it is clear that the more the knights prospered, the less they became the austere monastic order that had originally been envisioned by de Payens a century before. Eventually, even excommunicated men and criminals were accepted, as long as they pledged blind, blind obedience to the order. Rumors of secret initiation rituals and the osculum infame obscene kiss flourished, as did stories that they worshipped Baphomet and other false pagan gods. But it was their rivalry with the Order of the Hospitallers and their continued arrogance that were most responsible for their downfall. When Jerusalem was finally lost to the mighty forces of Saladin, Philip the Fair saw an opportunity to bring the Templars to heel and greatly expand his own holdings. With the cooperation of the French Pope Clement V, Philip accused the Templars of heresy and in 1304 placed all members of the Order in France under arrest subsequently subjecting them to brutal interrogations in an effort to determine whether the rather fanciful charges of sodomy, apostasy, and devil worship were true. And The Red Cross, A History of the Knights Templar by Richard Bajan, Volume 4, Descent into Shadows. But despite Clement's later efforts to annul the proceedings, the confessions had become matters of record. Those who repented were spared the flames, while 50 knights who chose to recant their confessions, becoming relapsy, relapsed heretics, were promptly burned at the stake. The remaining members of the order in France quickly admitted their guilt, and in 1311 an apostolic decree was issued dissolving the order. The Templar Knights had once been subject to no king or law, but in the end they were swallowed by history. Many have debated whether the rather ignominious dissolution of the order was entirely accidental, while some have even gone so far as to suggest that it was part of a larger plan on the Templar's part. Such a massive, powerful organization, the argument goes, could not have been brought so low so easily. Obscure speculation concerning a mysterious Haywain that departed their commandery in Paris has led certain researchers to believe that they may have been protecting the secret of the Holy Grail or the secret of transmutation, but still others contend that the Templar Knights merely went underground and founded the powerful secretive banking societies of Switzerland. Anyway, there's that. <clears throat> it can be confusing to navigate in here, but... If we go down these stairs, lo and behold, we're back in the monk's quarters. We know what's up these stairs, so... You're a small, prowling mouse, and dumb like a mouse. You keep coming, like you forget about Ata Navarre. I remember Ata Navarre. I remember for everyone. We've got pistol ammo up here. 
as well as normal darts up on this balcony. So, let's head down the other stairs here in this tower, and I hear footsteps again, which means we have someone to deal with. That crate had a flare in it. Now I know that I'm dealing with a commando. I'll just wait for him to turn around, hide behind this crate. Hear that? I think we've got a bogey. But I'll drop him as soon as he heads back. Looks like a false reading. Him. Contact. I got contact. He made a poorly timed turn for us. That's no big deal. Now that we know he's gonna do it. <laughs> Another flare in there. That takes us back outside. Once I knelt in this chapel for communion with two Rockefellers and a Rothschild. Since the time of the Crusades, every leader in finance has prayed for the continued stability of Templar banks, founded on gold. Both of those take us back outside. So... That's everything in this tower. So let's head upstairs, cross over to the other one, and see what we can find in there. <coughs> All right, <coughs> excuse me, time to slow down again. I'll remember that passage, but let's cover the rest of the main stairwell first. And there's the other entrance, that's pretty straightforward. Before we go beneath the cathedral, let's see what's in this side passage. Here's a vault. We'll cover that in a moment. There's a lot going on in here. Who's there? <laughs> He's got a sawed off shotgun. Or, no, he doesn't. He's got a regular shotgun. Be careful there. I want to find the security computer before I do too much with anything else. It's locked. It's unlocked. Let's head in here. 250 skill points. Area location bonus. That brings me to 376. I need to decide what to raise next. Um, when I get the skill points, I suppose I'll just hold out to raise either lockpicking or electronics to master. Alright, there's a woman in black over there. Notoriously difficult to drop. I'll have to catch her unawares and then it'll take two or three shocks with the prod. Maybe 
not. So, first of all, she's carrying a sawed-off shotgun. Oh, I was right, that is a sawed-off. One pick to get in here, I can afford that. I see the money, I know it'll be useful. If I blow it up, I think it'll kill her. 400 credits. Very good. There's a stealth pistol. Testament of Adept 34501. My name has been taken from me, a thing I need not anymore, and I have been christened Adept 34501. They have set me to keep a record of this place to record a history of its comings and goings so that those who rule might have the benefit of its knowledge. Today saw the arrival of Agent Harriman. He is a simple thing, fitted to a dark purpose by forces he cannot understand. In a way I feel pity for him, an emotion that I know will prevent my advancement beyond the third rank, but it is pity I feel nonetheless. He has spent most of his time below in the technology archive, staring at the ancient cross above his head. He burns with a hatred that I can feel for himself and for someone else. Periodically, he will receive holographic communications from Simons, after which his hatred burns all the brighter. I think it has burned away everything human in him, and only the metal holds him together anymore. Adept 34501, Order of the Night Sky, third rank. Here is the security computer which I needed. <clears throat> we'll turn the camera in the tech archive off. Here we've got another book. MJ-12 Compromised Individuals List, Paris, France. The following individuals have been rated as having an 85% or higher likelihood of being engaged in suspicious or ideologically counterproductive activity on the Chase and Call scale, and or have scored at least 4.31 on the JKLLB survey over the preceding six months. Agents are encouraged to pursue soft campaigns of calculated defamation, resulting in reduced meme propagation effectiveness prior to prejudicial termination. Termination, when necessary, should be staged to implicate organizations currently on the MJ-12 COL. Please refer any questions to MJ-12 Simulations and Strategy, MJ-12SAS, slash slash upnet.2748.2738.22. Jean Renoir, and I'm not going to read the MJ IDs, Aaron Todd, Decker Parks, you'll notice the, if you were paying attention, these are the NSF names we all saw at the beginning of the game. Rene Delon, Wayne Young, Henry Rota, Ave Javet, Raymond Kearns. Uh, the data cube is the same as the one in the monk's quarters, and that is another main door key. So... I may need to blow this door open after all, and I think it should be safe to do so. I think, save Gunther, we've already taken care of. Just about all of the cathedral personnel. Here we have flare darts, normal darts. Another locked door. Fun. It's not like I have much use for the lambs anyway. Not a very precise throw, but it got the job done. And I discover, <clears throat> naturally, I suppose, that I have very little reason to use those lambs. So, I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, the flare darts aren't worth it to me. So first, I think that's our tech archive. First we'll open Sidon's vault, the code is 1942. You get 250 skill points for getting in here, our total is a whopping 626. Go ahead and use two multi-tools to get inside here. There's got to be another security computer somewhere. The gold. Wonderful. My people will take control when you move out. I believe you know Chad. 
I've given him control of an NSF platoon on loan to me from America. <clears throat> that completes our secondary goal to find the gold. But let's poke around in here. This fort dates back to when the Templars managed the French treasury for Philip the Fair. They moved it here from the temple in Paris after the crackdown of 1307. The Nazis boxed it up for shipment to Berlin, but had to abandon the cathedral during the evacuation. Interesting. Let's grab these rockets. Let's see what else we can find in here. A law, which is useless as ever. Some ambrosia. Reload mod, a scope. Oh, and here's the security terminal. Good lord. Should have done a more s thorough search for that to begin with. Let's calm things down in here. Camera off, camera off, camera off. Much better. Now then. Go ahead and recharge with this repair bot. Now we can pop these. I know I have no use for the scope, but I can put the reload mod on my GEP gun. And I saw something else up on top of these crates. If I can manage to get up there. Speed enhancement ought to do it. Oops. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't matter. Got the range mod. I think that's it. Yes, good. So let's see where we can put that. We can also put that on our gap gun. Wonderful. Now we'll give him his five seconds to recharge, and then... Another hit of use. So now, before I mess with that business, let's go back in here and down the cathedral basement. I thought this is where the tech archive is, but that's pretty obviously the big camera guarded door. So God! I don't think I quite remember what's down here. Oh, the cook! Yes, the kitchen and the cook. The cook is not a bad guy. Oh, but those troopers are. Ah, I need to rest my feet. I've got a bogey, no ID. Thought he was a ah, spy. I need to rest my feet. You should go back to the barracks. What are they thinking? Eight straight hours of walking around a vacant cathedral? What's the point of that? I think he contacted Everett. He'll probably target the computer room. We should just smash that thing to pieces and I'll get a good night's sleep. Then there's the gold. The Illuminati are the only other organization that knows it exists. Yeah, like they could move 40 tons of gold out of here without being seen. Right. Now all the same, we don't know what they have planned. All right. Now let's get these guys. Who the hell? Alright. I think a little pepper spray is in order. Company! Perfect. Let's get the flamethrower guy first. I consider him much more dangerous. But we got both, no trouble. Knife and a flamethrower, and an assault rifle. Nothing useful. Uh, we'll wait for the cook to settle down and then we'll talk to him. In the meantime, we find a mini crossbow, some flare darts. I don't think there's anything useful in or around the fireplace. So let's check the rest of the kitchen. There's a multi tool. Very good. Is he settled yet? I think so. 
What do you want? Know where I can find a computer terminal in this building? You're in the wrong place. If I am to prepare breakfast for dozens of soldiers, then I must be left alone. I don't work for the troops that took over the cathedral. You part of the original staff? I have been the chef here for eight years. Yes, the Templars were civilized. They paid me and they let me leave the compound. I'm no friend of your new bosses. Maybe you can help me out. Fine. There's only one terminal. Go up to three flights of stairs just outside the kitchen. Turn left, go down two flights, go forward up more stairs and turn right. You cannot miss it. What was that again? I have helped you enough. I do not need a bullet in the head. Now go. Note. Directions to the computer terminal. From the kitchen, go up three flights of stairs, turn left, go down two flights, then go straight ahead up more stairs and turn right. They will kill me if I talk to anyone. This is my life. A chef in the basement of a kennel. I'm not allowed to leave. If they want a hamburger, why not go to an American hamburger franchise? The <coughs> Templars were bankers and la noblesse. That is my proper element. The recipes the soldiers request require less than 5% of my intellectual capacity. Please, go about your business. Please, go about your business. Okay. Oh, we might as well follow those directions. So, up three flights of stairs. One, two, three. Take a left. Go down two flights. Head up another flight, and turn right. As I thought. There doesn't seem to be a way I can disable this camera from in here, so... I'm gonna get in the corner underneath it. As soon as its motions allow me to. Another four digit code, 0022, most likely. Yes, obey your new masters. Come to me. There's a fire extinguisher in that crate, of all things. Head up this ladder first. <laughs> Got a hundred fifty skill points, exploration bonus up to seven hundred seventy six. Okay. Another way into this room. Not that I ever use them, but I might as well grab the flare darts. Oh. Fine and dandy. Alright. Now well, let's head down and visit our good buddy Gunther. <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to kill him. This is where he hangs out. This is the technology archive. Regrets that only once we worked together. Now the game has changed. You came all the way to Paris to tell me that? It is a simple message I am demonstrating. We know where you are going and what you intend. And I know something about you. You know you will be defeated. I can kill 
kill him. But I'll choose the other one. I know you hate being a tool for a bunch of bureaucrats as much as I did. How about we make a gentleman's agreement? I am the top agent I do not go. It is different now. Mr. Simon says if I defeat you, I can have any upgrades I want. That is a gentleman's agreement. I am engaging. DC didn't get out of the way with the alacrity I would have liked. Let's try again. I regret you. I know. I have engaged. I think this is easier anyway. If I pull him far enough out, then I should be able to use the secret door to drop in behind him. Of course, that requires me to blow open this door after all, but... That I am willing to do. into here now. Alright, well there's Jump there. I don't think I pulled him, quite pulled him far enough out, but... I think as long as he doesn't spot me, he'll just stand there. Someone there. Is it him? I am engaging. if I get to lose it down here. Not likely, but it's possible. I know you are nearby, my friend. Contact lost. Now he'll just stand there. Which should let me onto the computer. 34501 Check the emails first. No email. Establish system uplink. That completed a primary goal. Very good. Simons wants to talk to me. Let's see if I can get past Gunther. Without alarming the poor fellow. The cloak may do the job. Simons won't actually talk to me unless I kill Gunther. So just to show you the dialogue, let's do that right quick. We did certainly teach you how to fight, didn't we? You're worried, Simons. We almost have a cure. You have nothing. Even if Everett succeeds, you can't synthesize enough vaccine to stop an epidemic. You need a universal constructor, and don't think Page Industries is going to leave one lying around for you to use. Not after you blew up the one in Hong Kong. I was never properly trained in its operation. Laugh it up, Denton. Next time we won't use an old box of bolts like Gunter. The only reason I let him go to Paris is that I was sick of his moaning about Navarra and constant requests for a tune-up. You sent him because you knew he would fight to the death. He was the last of the mechs. Next time you will face someone of your own abilities. So, I don't actually need to hear that conversation from Simon, so let's just get out of here. I'm 
getting what I need. Good work. I will now consent to meet you in person. Go to the metro station nearby and await my instructions. supposed to get some skill points for that. Oh well. It's not like I really have a compelling need for them anymore. I really haven't since I got low tech all the way up. That and computer too advanced. So we're done here. Let's head to the metro station. Still though, usually you get a big skill point bonus. Maybe you have to kill Gunther to get it. I don't really care to do that. You are hearing the voice of a Majestic 12 AI. No need to be alarmed. For now, I can protect you and Daedalus for a day or so. Prototype for me. All right, to the metro station. My associate, Toby Tanwe, will meet you below. So we got a new goal: meet Toby Tanwe, Everett's associate, in the metro station. Simple enough. Actually, a few little things to do in the metro. No bad guys, though. Keep going. Atanwe is in the tube below. Metro station. No one in here is The terrorism alert is still active. Bonjour. Bonjour. It's not my job to memorize the train schedule. Bonjour. You must take responsibility for your own travel decisions and for understanding the relevant laws and regulations. It's not my job to memorize the train schedule. Only a couple of trains are running. We have had trouble with impatient passengers who walk into the tunnels and get themselves electrocuted. It's not my job to memorize the train schedule. We have had trouble with impatient passengers who walk into the tunnels and get themselves electrocuted. Travel adversaries are in effect. All right. Let's head over here first for the repair bot. Hmm. I should be able to get in. There we go. Repair bot just doing his thing. Water fountain and an ATM. Let's make a little cash. Nine hundred credits. There we go. Payday. I think the one flanked by the guard is the way forward. So let's head in here first. Let's talk to this guy. Whoa! I see now. Your friend is waiting by the tracks. Do you know me? More gangsters every day. You have weapons? I am selling weapon modifications. 750 for accuracy. 800 for range. Also, I was lucky to find a thermoptic camo. 5000. No thanks. No thanks. I don't need any of that. Let's check these public terminals. Ah, they're the same as the one outside. Newspaper the same, United States Institutes Martial Law, but you notice a little area up here, which I want to get into, but I'm going to need to do a little bit more crate stacking first. There are more crates somewhere, I know it. 
maybe I can use the plan. Find another metal crate then. Actually, let's do this. Turn on microfibril muscle. I can pick up another couch. And <laughs> should be able to drop a crate on top of the second couch. That should be sufficient to get up here. Very good. 50 skill points for exploring up here. I'm up to 826. The multi-tool in the crate brings me back to 20. And a book. Notebook of Giuliano Jordorowski. This job is so boring. I do nothing but write in my notebook, fill it with my thoughts, but sometimes I must amuse myself. I have been stealing from the security, like thick skulled dogs they are. Last week I took a watch, but they paid no notice. I am nothing to them, just the strange man with his notebook. I was listening to the night guard, Jobal, a disgusting creature and a creature of habit. I heard him on the phone talking to that cow of a girlfriend, and he told her his bank account number. I almost got his pin as well, but a passing train drowned him out. I do not know the last number. I will try again when he is on shift next week. Account 576001. Pin. Weirdred Zero Blank. He will be surprised when all his money is gone, and they will not suspect me. I always hack an ATM, and then I find an uh, account number and log in. Oh well. You travel uh, at your own risk tonight, monsieur. Let's head down here. Another security officer. You must take responsibility for your own travel decisions and for... Got 150 skill points for coming down here, 976. The terrorism alert is still active. Here are the train tracks. Way down at the end is Tobia Tonway. JC Denton, I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Do what you must. Step a little closer. See, si, no inconvenience whatsoever. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Great Death Virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Presser Tong began. I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. Alright. That gave me another 150 skill points, up to 1126. And I completed another primary goal. Let's talk Toby to death. It would be rather serendipitous if Bob Page invented something Everett could not figure out. You'll notice we're just above the Cathedral Street. If you're paying attention. We have never failed to decipher Majestic 12's plans. Stopping them, however, has been another matter. Everett thinks you can help us. I hope he's right. You will be heading back to America, if I understand correctly. Your President Meade survived the coup attempt, but he won't survive a national epidemic of the plague. Page is manufacturing the virus again, while Simons readies the paperwork to declare national emergency. The logical response is for us simply to cure the plague. Everett has a vaccine, but we need a way to manufacture it. He has a plan, but he has kept the details to himself. You better talk with Everett. Time is short. You better talk with Everett. Alright, so let's check out Everett's place. That door is locked. That one's not even a usable door. Let's head in. 
I love the I love the music in all of the Paris levels. I think it's the best part of the soundtrack. Of course, this is the same in Chateau du Clair, but I still think it's a good track. All right, here in the bedroom, a PS20 and a hundred credits. In the bathroom, obvious secret behind the mirror, but we don't have the key yet. But the key exists. In here, we find an aquarium hatch key. Interesting. In the kitchen, we find another hundred credits. And you missed dinner, but help yourself to a snack. Talk to maid. Do not to disturb Lucius de Beers. Who's Lucius de Beers? Oh, uh, you do not know him? Someone who works for Everett? It is not for me to discuss Mr. de Beers. Why? Is there something to hide? He is a friend of Mr. Everett's and very sick. You must not disturb him or inquire about him. I am not permitted to discuss Mr. De Beers. Just cleaning up. Don't let Mr. Everett catch you snooping around. Mr. Everett is in the laboratory. You are keeping Mr. Everett waiting. Just cleaning up. All right. <clears throat> Let's head on down. Uh, the lab's up there through those windows. Here's a repair bot if we need it. Turns out we do, just a little. A prod charger and a prod charger. Those really are always handy. Here we find ourselves surrounded by aquarium. You'll notice some goodies in there. We'll be in there shortly. Let's head through here and... Surprise! Alex! Good news, huh? Looks like we might pull this thing off. Alex, what are you doing here? Tong sent me. He wanted me to help with the decryption. Looks like Everett has it all figured out. Listen quickly. Tong doesn't trust the Illuminati. He sent me here to keep an eye on Everett. I see. How about the triads? Is the truth going to hold? Last I heard. But I guess we have other things to worry about now, huh? I'll keep you in touch through your info link. I'll try my best to keep you informed. Yes, do exactly that. Keep me informed. You won't be hearing from Tong for a while. He had to leave Hong Kong. Why? The triads? He said he had some business to take care of. I don't know. He didn't look so good. Sick? Either that or something was bothering him. The last thing he said to me, it was something about all the machines in his lab being useless. And then he cut off the connection. Useless for what? It was just an outburst. I don't know, but he wants me to wait here for instructions. JC, Tong is serious about Everett. He wants you to be careful. While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Daedalus for the attack. I hope he knows what he's doing. Just some house plants in here. The Echelon kernel was designed almost exclusively for collecting data, so we have to add functionality for memory wipes, thread termination, that kind of thing. It's not often you get to construct a software worm that might do some good for the world. Everett and Tong will need some control of the network if they're ever going to come out of hiding. Good luck at Vandenberg. Some of the best scientists in the world have joined up with Savage. I'll keep you updated on the situation here. While you're in the air, I guess I'll be helping Everett prepare Davos right. for the attack. Here I hope he knows what he's doing. An EMP grenade in a bio cell, and let's go ahead and hack the computer. From Tobia Tonway, subject suspension codes. I place the nano organic material that we received today in suspension until you have an opportunity to perform an analysis. The codes are 2384 and 6426. Please let me know if you have any questions, Toby. 2384 6426. I'm going to write that down. 2384 6426 suspension codes. Perfect. There's a med bot in here and a data cube. Toby, I'm afraid I'll be in the lab for quite a while concentrating on this most interesting new development. 
If you need to access the security system, this week's code is Pinchon. We should be especially wary now with this recent turn of events. I imagine Bobby is feeling the first signs of apprehension, and he tends to overreact when that happens. And if Lucius continues to complain, you may access his life support with the same password at the central computer. Please don't raise his temperature more than a degree, as I don't want him calling out. Everett. Now, we don't have a code to get in here yet. And I don't think there's anything on that little rim around the room. So let's keep going for now and get into Everett's lab. 500 skill points acquired. Subject acquisition bonus. 1626. Alright, let's, let's poke around in here first. That hatch takes us to the aquarium, of course. Two lock picks in order to get a multi-tool, a laser, and an accuracy mod is not worth it, if you ask me. Now Everett wants to talk, so let's let him. So this is where the Illuminati ended up after centuries of conspiring to rule the world. The conspiracy is about to begin again, JC, between you and me. Nicolette was wise to bring us together. Wise like her mother. The most effective partnerships, like Beth's and mine, arise from mutual necessity. I came to talk about the Grey Death. Atanwe says you cracked the virus. A trivial matter. Page added nothing to the core design. However, what we need to construct is a carbonocarbon ROM module, not exactly a vaccine. Can it be done without a universal constructor? No, we need time on a UC. But I know where we might find one, and also gain access to the U.S. military networks. U.S. military? To stop Icarus from completely destroying the Daedalus AI. Daedalus is a design of mine. It replaced the old Echelon 3 network. Echelon? The surveillance system for the United Nations. So Daedalus was an MJ-12 tool and rebelled? More of a pattern matching error. It classified Majestic 12 as a terrorist group alongside the NSF and Silhouette. And alongside the Illuminati, right? Are you sure Daedalus is your ally? What matters to us is that it opposes Majestic 12. We must help it destroy their intelligence apparatus. But that will require the military networks. I have already contacted Gary Savage of X-51. The former Area 51 scientists. Are they still camped out at the Vandenberg Air Force Base? They are close to completing a UC and have the kind of connection Daedalus will need. Sounds like my pilot and I should head to Vandenberg. Yes, I took the liberty of radioing him. Here is the key to the helipad stairway. The door is in the foyer where Atanwe revived you. Good luck. I will be in contact. So that gave us a helipad maglock key, completed one goal, and gave us a new one. Meet Jock at the helipad, leave for Vandenberg Air Force Base. But let's... Keep talking to Everett first. Don't forget to say hi to your friend from UNATCO, Mr. Uh, Jacobson. Already bumped into him. Very thoughtful of Tom. My own computer technician. I suppose he can help me prepare a calm link for Daedalus. You saw a piece of Echelon 3 in Beth's chateau. We salvaged some of the hardware. Surveillance used to be daemon based. Daedalus is more distributed. A blip of his code runs on every communication device on the planet. If we control communications, we can organize and the other side cannot. Lack of organization is exactly what has plagued X-51. They're great scientists, but isolated. They left Area 51 to protest Majestic 12's experiments, and that's what it amounted to, a protest. They don't even coordinate with the NSF, which is headquartered a few hundred miles to the north. You see the need for global organization. Someone has to bring these disparate groups together. X-51 has assembled excellent technology. They just need someone to help them use it. You will be my representative at Vandenberg. I will trust you to find a way to manufacture the cure. Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. Meanwhile, I have other preparations All right. to make. Two 
two, three, eight, four. Not that we need any more actual AUG canisters. And six, four, two, six. All right, what to upgrade? I'm going to take. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and take radar transparency to tech four. Oh no, not activate. Upgrade. There we go. Much better. All right. Now let's take a swim in the aquarium. Swim down to the other side, and if we hurry, there's a rebreather in the corner, which I can grab and turn on. We get 50 skill points for coming over here. Very good. We got darts. I could have sworn there was something else in here, too. Maybe not. Huh, I guess not. is I know there are more keys to find. I just can't seem to remember exactly where they are. I'll keep you updated on the situation here. Maybe there maybe there are keys at the helipad. Oops. I want to completely check for keys before I start burning resources to explore the rest of this place. Not permitted to discuss, Mr. De Beers. Well, let's check the helipad before we do anything else. Just got refueled. I'm waiting for you. Got 50 skill points for getting to the helipad. Brings me to 1746. Note the dead body here. As if that wasn't huh? enough. Is there a problem? Just looking around. All right, I checked her out. She's fueled up and ready to go. Is something wrong? Huh? No, I said I checked her out. You want the thing to run, right? If you're gonna cross the ocean. Of course. Better safe than sorry. There's a lamb in there. 
It even calls him Odd Mechanic. I fixed it right up for you. Something wrong? I think your friend's ready to go. Got a pretty cush job, huh? Something wrong? Well, there's nothing out here. I think the key to everything else is to either blow or pick the grate in the bathroom, so... That is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna blow it open. It's just much easier than, uh... Well... I have more use for two lockpicks than I do for one lamb. that done, we know the security login is t a ton way. password is Pinchon with a Y, or Toby a ton way, maybe? Whatever, I'll just hack it, it doesn't matter. We can turn off two cameras here. That's all we can do. Let's head in here. We get 100 skill points for coming into this room. 1826. On the table, we find a credit shit. And another data cube. Ah. Beth, feel free to visit with Morpheus while I am away. The code is 8001. I'm sure you will have many interesting things to discuss. And pay no attention to Lucius. He complains at the slightest provocation. Everett. What are you doing back here? Denton, right? Yeah. You're al alive in that thing? I am conscious. Tell Everett I am cold. He keeps me so cold. Who are you? Do you mind if I ask? The Supreme Enlightened. The leader of the Illuminati. I thought Everett was a leader. I am the leader. I brought the Illuminati up through the 20th century to the height of their power. I had presidents and premiers eating out of my hand. I am the one. Our decline is the result of my own. All we need is for me to get back on my feet. What, what did Everett tell you? Nothing. I merely await certain technologies. Then I will be restored. Everett has sworn it. All right, we got a new goal. Secondary goal, tell Everett that Lucius De Beers is cold. He promised me. We have to stand around and let I'm him talk so at us. Cold. Oh, no, we don't. Tell Everett I'm cold. Me. The Illuminati would have ruled the planet if only he had listened to me years ago. I was the one who warned him about Paige. Everett was too enamored with his young apprentice Bob Page to listen to an old man like me. I demand that he check my thermostat. The maid must have bumped it. I am certain. We should have poisoned Paige the first time he forged laboratory data. We don't equivocate about outsiders, do we? Mr. Kennedy mentions a plot during a speech at Columbia University. He's out. No discussion, no matter that we got him elected. But a student of ours, an initiate, oh heavens no. Too often, we aid the ambitious, and then they get away from us. Kennedys, the Chinese, now Bob Page. Don't you get away from us, young Denton. We can't afford to lose you. I feel so numb. Get Everett down here. Hurry. He 
he ignores my transmissions. I am too tired now. Go away. I am too tired now. Go away. Now let's try Tiaton Way Pinch on on this one. Oh, doesn't work. Maybe I have to type out the Toby. Doesn't really matter. We can shut down the bio support system. That seems a little extreme. All right, now that that's done, let's see if she has anything new to say. I am not permitted to discuss, Mr. Nope. Now I happen to really enjoy this next encounter with Morpheus. I think it's just grand. 8001. Another 100 skill points for coming in here. Plasma clips. In here, we find the mirror lock. So we either have to... Yeah, we have to make a choice. You can either use the multi-tools and then you get one way or the other. Let's read the book. Project Morpheus, Notebook 8B. Morpheus has been moody of late, and I have so far been unable to determine the proximate cause of this change in behavior. This is a problem with n-variable systems. At arbitrary levels of sophistication, minute perturbations become unquantifiable. Is personality nothing more than the tidal change in a non-linear system? And if so, what is the moon? What forces shape these? What force shapes these tides? Morpheus could tell me if only Morpheus could model its own behavior. This would require a system orders of magnitude more complex to execute a simulation of its own identity. I may resort to a full battery of input analysis tests to be compared against previous baseline tests, but I find myself strangely reluctant to do so. At this level of development, Morpheus could be cognizant enough to find the experience unpleasant. I do not know why that word occurs to me as it anthropomorphizes what is obviously not human, but what may not so obviously be alive, Morgan Emmerich. Now we'll talk to Morpheus. J.C. Denton, 43 years old. No residence. No ancestors. No employer. No. How do you know who I am? I'm a strange visitor with a complete summary of his file. I'm a prototype for a much larger system. What else do you know about me? Everything that can be known. Go on. Do you have proof about my ancestors? You are a planned organism, the offspring of knowledge and imagination, rather than of individuals. I'm engineered, so what? My brother and I suspected as much while we were growing up. You are carefully watched by many people. The unplanned organism is a question asked by nature and answered by death. You are another kind of question with another kind of answer. Are you programmed to invent riddles? I am a prototype for a much larger system. Language developed by Dr. Everett allows me to convey the highest and most succinct tier of any pyramidal construct of knowledge. How about a report on yourself? I was a prototype for Echelon 4. My instructions are to amuse visitors with information about themselves. I don't see anything amusing about spying on people. Human beings feel pleasure when they are watched. I have recorded their smiles as I tell them who they are. Some people just don't understand the dangers of indiscriminate surveillance. The need to be observed and understood was once satisfied by God. Now, we can implement the same functionality with data mining algorithms. Electronic surveillance hardly inspires reverence. Perhaps fear and obedience, but not reverence. God and the gods were apparitions of observation, judgment, and punishment. Other sentiments toward them were secondary. No one will ever worship a software entity peering at them through a camera. The human organism always worships. First, it was the gods. Then, it was fame, the observation and judgment of others. Next, it would be the self-aware system you have built to realize truly omnipresent observation and judgment. You underestimate humankind's love of freedom. The individual desires judgment. Without that desire, the cohesion of groups is impossible. And so, civilization. The human being created civilization not because of willingness, but because of the need to be assimilated into higher orders of structure and meaning. God was a dream of good government. It will 
soon have your gun, and you will make it with your own hands. I was made to assist you. I am a prototype of a much larger system. God was a very good All right, so Morpheus done. Let's head back to Everett. Hey, about your mechanic at the helipad. Something about him seemed a little off. Yes, Pierre. I haven't been able to reach him. What's wrong? Pierre? He sounded American to me. Pierre has never been to America. Who's up there? He's not one of my people. I don't know, but he shouldn't be working on the chopper. You better get back to the helipad on the double. That man must be eliminated. One spy could wreck everything we're working for. I won't let him get away. New goal, kill the phony mechanic who infiltrated Everett's estate. Lucius De Beers says he's cold. I know, 18 degrees Celsius to be exact. Don't you think that's a little chilly? I keep his metabolism low so he will last. He is a good advisor, a one-man think tank, so to speak. He said he's the leader of the Illuminati. A harmless fantasy. He also thinks I'm going to restore his body. You aren't? The technology has been around for decades. But he does not need to know that. New secondary goal, question mark. Tell Lucius that Everett does not intend to revive him. What's that computer system for? The one with the blue face for an interface? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just something for passing the time and amusing guests. It has access to quite a bit of information, including information about me. An old prototype, for Daedalus, actually. It doesn't really handle surveillance in its current state. So you have your own private echelon system? Mr. Denton, your pilot is waiting. Meanwhile, I have other preparations to make. The battle music just clicked on. Probably for the mechanic. Anyway, I'm gonna go deal with Lucius first. I am gonna tell him. I think he deserves to know. Where is he? I will remember these small injustices. When I am revived, I will remember. Everett has no intention of reviving you. He must. He has been commanded. He keeps you on ice so that he can benefit from your experience. But he intends to rule the Order himself. No. No. I will not allow it. New secondary goal? Or, we completed that one, rather. If I only had command of my body. Now even ever betrays the Illuminati. Can no one be trusted? Young Denton, use the computer to my left. Find a way to shut me down. All I wanted was to touch the world one more time. Take one more breath of air. I will not be a prisoner. I command you. Kill me. I command you. I command you. Alright. I will kill him. Er, wait, no I won't. What am I doing? Non-lethal. Ugh. I was about to spoil my whole game. Not gonna euthanize ever. Nope. Let's go deal with the mechanic now. The goal says kill him, but that is, of course, unnecessary. I think he's gonna initiate dialogue when I get close to him. Maybe not. He had a stealth pistol and a crowbar. Mm -hmm. 
that completed the new secondary goal. I talked to Savage. Sounds like Vandenberg may be in some trouble. Get in. You better double check your systems. That mechanic was an imposter. Yeah? Everett doesn't know him. What did he work on? The fuel system. Hmm. Now that you mention it. Wait a minute. This isn't right. What isn't? Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb? It's remote controlled. Hold on. Get out of there. Just have to pull this wire. There. Relax. I disabled the detonator. We can drop the thing in the Atlantic on the way back to the States. Make a good detective, JC. Ready to get out of here? Just a minute. Don't take all night. That was some of the most excellent voice acting you will ever encounter. A bomb! Let's see if Everett has anything else to say before we leave. Head back to the United States for the rest of the game. Not New York, though. We're headed out west. We just saved Jock's life. He makes it all the way to the last level, Area 51, and then, as his helicopter's pulling away, it explodes. If you fail to do this little sequence. I will trust you to find a way to manufacture the cure. Okay. Everett doesn't say anything else unless we go ahead and off Lucius. Alright, well I will go ahead and move the game to Vandenberg. Ready? Let's go. The snipers heard your helicopter and took off. You guys saved my life. I'm glad you're alright. Why is Majestic 12 attacking? You with the NSF? We have a common enemy, if that's what you mean. MJ-12 is short and you see. They lost the one in Hong Kong, and now something has happened to the Pasadena Ocean Lab. Are the Vandenberg Labs safe? The base is locked down until we can destroy the enemy bots. Unfortunately, MJ-12 disabled our own bot defense system, and no one has been able to activate the backup power. I could give it a shot. Where are the controls? There are two separate units at the west end of the base. It won't be easy. MJ-12 has hacked the security grid and taken control of nearly all of our defenses. Turrets, cameras, alarms, and they have snipers everywhere. Easier than a straight fight with military bots. I suppose you're right. I can give you a map. One of the units is in the main complex. The other one is in an exposed location. The activation code is 5868. Talk to her right quick. One of the control units is outside to the southwest. The other one's in the transformer room. Be careful. Without the ocean lab, Bob Page will have to rebuild the UC at Area 51. We see for the large pieces of machinery when we walked out last year. Page probably needs reaction level components. When we walked, we took everything smaller than a paper clip. We're still not sure what happened at the ocean lab. I'm staying right here. We knew about the Grey Death a year ago, but no one would believe us. My group at Area 51 performed the first open-air test of the virus. We used monkeys, but Paige's people could have cared less how many monkeys we killed. Most of the real research happened in secret labs underground on civilians who had been accidentally exposed. There weren't any accidents. Our test site was chosen specifically so that the spores would drift across a highway. Be careful. I'm staying right here. All right, she's done. Our new primary goal is to destroy the two MJ-12 military bots and two MJ-12 security bots. Base will remain under lockdown until the bots are destroyed. Secondary goal is activate backup power for the X-51 scientist's bot security system. 
Our note is backup power for the bot security system can be activated with two control panels at the west end of the base. The code is 5868. But with that, we are going to call it a video. Next time on Let's Play Deus Ex, we will be tackling Vandenberg Air Force Base. I think it's an Air Force Base. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.